Hey, what's, what's up, up everyone? This is Sven Grab Designs and today I have a new game tutorial for you guys. It's a um, shiny orb tutorial. Um, I haven't gotten any game requests yet. Um, of course, my audience isn't um, big yet since I just started my channel. But hopefully me showing you guys um, some skills that I know will give you guys an idea of what to look out for. So. To get started, just open up uh, an empty canvas on Gimp. I already have one open up. Um, I'll have this background in the description box in case you guys want it. I need it in Gimp and I will be using it for this orb tutorial. So first things first, we're going to go to the layers and dialog box and we're going to create a new layer. Click OK. And we're going to name this layer orb. Next we're going to go to the ellipse tool or the circular tool. Make sure it is on this mode right here. And it doesn't, the size of the orb doesn't matter. Just a semi normal size is okay. You, for this tutorial purposes, I'm going to use orange, but you can use any color. It, it'll go with anything. And make sure on affected area it says fill whole selection. And then fill the circle. And click select none. Next thing we're going to do is go to a layer auto crop layer and then we're going to go to the alignment tool and click on the circle click on this button and this button what I just did right now is just center this circle um, I'm really OCD about certain things and I really like my uh, graphics to be well centered so next step is we're going to right click on the orb layer and click alpha to selection we're going to create a new layer above that click OK and now we're going to add more depth to the circle. So we're going to grab uh, the paintbrush tool. I pick a fuzzy one, a fuzzy brush. And I put it at the largest size there. And make sure your foreground color over here is on black. And I'm just going to stroke it uh, like this. Next step, we're going to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to blur it about 88. And then put select none. I'm going to um, label this layer burn. And we're going to put it on overlay. And I'm going to tone the opacity to about 80. 80 is okay. Now I'm going to make a new layer above that. Click OK. I'm going to layer, name this one, sorry, um, highlight. Go back to your orb layer, right click on it, alpha to selection. Now go back to the highlight layer. And now we're going to go to the paintbrush tool again. This time I want white as a foreground color. And this time we're going to stroke above that. Like so. Now I'm going to do the same steps again. I'm going to go filters, blur, Gaussian blur. And this one I'm going to do it at about 75 on the blur radius and then click OK. Now I put select none. And this one's going to be at set the mode to dodge. And tone the opacity down quite a lot. I'm going to leave it at 54.5. Now so far looking good. Uh, we just added a lot of effects, well not a lot, but enough to emphasize the circle a little bit more with shadows and highlights and stuff. So next we're going to go back to the orb layer, right click on it, alpha to selection, now create a new layer below that. Over here I'm going to label this one white edge, now we're going to go to select, grow, I'm going to grow it at 4. And we're going to go to the bucket fill tool over here. White as the foreground color, fill whole selection, and fill it in. Now we're going to create a new layer above the white edge one. Click OK. We're going to label this one, um, let's see, black shadows. Now we're going to go back to the paintbrush tool. Make sure to have black as your foreground color. And now we're going to add where you could say the metalish effect to it. So watch what I'm doing closely. I'm not gonna dab the brush like that. 
that's the wrong way to do it. You slowly go around the edges and you, you paint it like so, you know, emphasizing it more on some sides than others. Um, this basically you do it to your liking. There is no specific way to have it done. Just make sure you don't be rough on it and just go at it lightly. Once you're done with that, you just go to select none. And as you can see, I gave it this metalish effect somewhat. So now we're going to go back to the white edge layer over here. And we're going to add a drop shadow to it. So we're going to go filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. And blur radius at 25. Make sure to ha uncheck allow resizing. Opacity at 100. You can pause the video if you want to check these settings real quick. And click OK. And as you can see, it gave the drop shadow at the edge. I'm going to duplicate that layer just to emphasize it a little more. Now we're going to go back to the orb layer, this orange one right here. I'm going to right click, alpha to selection, and we're going to go on select, invert. And now we're going to go filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. And blur the radius at about 30. And put select none. So as you can see, I gave it that edge around on the inside though. Now we're going to go back to the orb layer again, right click on it, alpha to selection, and create a new layer. Click OK. Now this layer, move it all the way to the top so that it's above every single layer. Now we're going to go back over here to the ellipse tool or the circular tool, however you want to call it. And we have to make sure it's on this mode. It's called intersect. And you have to have it or else it'll just, it won't select the orb. And I'm going to select the top half, like so. And we're going to go over here, put select, shrink. And shrink it at about 8. Click OK. Now we're going to go to the gradient tool. Make sure white is your foreground color. Make sure the shape is on linear and stroke down like so. And then put select none. And you could turn the opacity down a little bit. Make sure you could still see the gloss semi something. And after that you could just add basically anything to it. Your your orb is done. It doesn't have to be orange, it could be any color. And you just add any you can add any text to it if you want also, you know, make yourself a new logo for um, YouTube and stuff. Like, um, I'm going to go over this really quick. Um, this isn't part of the tutorial, I'm just showing you guys that. What you can do with the orb. Make it into your own logo like so. And then you have a nice finished product. So that's it for this game tutorial. Hopefully you guys you found it very hopeful. I will have the background image I used for this tutorial in the description. I will also have the finished product in the description. Make sure to check out my Deviant Art. That will also be in the description below. And please request new game tutorials. Um, I can basically do anything, so if you just request them, I will teach them. And that's about it. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe. See you guys later.